Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Wonderful dinner, Venus. Nothing I like better than old-fashioned French cooking. Yep, most digestible. Glad you enjoyed it. And now will you tell us just exactly what it is we're celebrating, Steve? Hey, say, I, um, I haven't forgotten someone's birthday, have I? <laughs> no, don't worry, Professor. It's just that it's 200 years ago today that the first Zodiac performed in the circus. That's why I asked you, Venus, to put this crystal ball as a centerpiece on the table. It belonged to my great-great-great-grandmother, Madam Clara Zodiac. The greatest clairvoyant of all time. I, uh, I remember reading about her. Of course, the rest of the Zodiacs were all trapeze artists. Tell us all about the Zodiac, Steve. Okay. But after Matt and I have made the coffee. We, uh, we're going to try out my new coffee-making machine. So while we tackle this hazardous mission, you relax for a change. Come on, Professor. You'd better have the fire extinguisher standing by. Oh, come on, Steve. It's, uh, it's safe enough. That's what you say. Quite clear. You are to fix the trapeze wire so that it will break when Steve Zodiac is doing his act. Quite clear. When the wire breaks and everyone's attention is distracted, that's when I will signal the nomadians to move in. And I will fix the thrust effects just to make sure they can't rescue him. Don't forget. We've never met in our lives before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I fixed all the thruster packs. If anyone attempts to fly with them, they're as good as dead. <laughs> Really, Zuni, I think you must be tone deaf. We'll never get this good enough for the performance tonight. <laughs> now, now, Zuni, no use losing your temper. Let's take it again, quite slowly. One, two, and... I suppose. But all that smoke that goes with it, it's positively dangerous. <laughs> oh, look at that crazy robot. Here, watch out you don't do yourself an injury with that sword. Yeah, Robert. It was a crazy idea anyway, getting you to do a sword swallowing act. Not to worry, though. I'll soon put you right. That is, if I can get the professor to give me some of my tools back. Mm. 
Well, you're gonna get a big surprise, all of you. Matthew Maddock is not such a toot as you all think sometimes. I can just see Zero's face when he sees. What in the universe is that? Top hat. Vintage 1962, sir. Made by one of the top hatters in ancient London, sir. And I've got to wear that on top of all this? Well, it's all part of the traditional ringmaster's dress, sir. Ah, oh, well, I guess it's for a good cause. Ah, uh, nothing much the matter with you, only a blown fuse. I'll see if I can persuade Professor Matic to lend me back one of my screwdrivers. We are reporting to Nomadian Caravan Leader. Stage one of plan complete. A, okay. Come in. Close the door quickly, please. Bright light destroys my cosmic concentration. Madam Mivia, just thought I'd come and see if you're quite comfortable. Thank you, Commander. Everything could not be better. I still think you should have a safety net, Colonel. It's a mighty long way down. A Zodiac family never had a net. I'm not going to be the first member to start having one. Okay, Colonel. I can't wait to see old Zero in his ringmaster's costume. I see you have the old uh, crystal ball, madame. Oh, yes, Commander. And it brings some very strange messages. Indeed. What do you see now, for instance? I see... I see the face of a circus clown. Cosmo the Clown! That's me. Oh, gave me quite a shock. As we've never worked together before, Madame Miria, I just thought I'd drop by and introduce myself. Identified object moving towards Space City. Hmm. Can't be a space missile, it's too slow. Still, better give an amber alarm. What's that? The space ice cream cup. <laughs> amber alarm? Well, nothing to get excited about. If you'll excuse me, I'd better get back. Sure, Commander. I do hope that it is nothing serious. <laughs> Call a caravan leader up on the crystal ball, madame. Tell him they've been spotted. Everything's going according to plan. Amber alarm. I guess I'd better go below and see what's up. Can you carry on on your own? Yep. Only a couple more to fix, Colonel. And make sure you fix them good. I don't want to come adrift during the act. <laughs> There's a whole line of them now, sir. Almost stationary, as if they were parked in free float. A line of spaceships, rather like a caravan. That's just what it is, I guess, a caravan. A caravan? Yes, a gypsy caravan. Ever since circuses began way back in pre-space times, gypsies have always been attracted by the circus. The Nomadians. You know what they say, never trust a Nomadian. Maybe I'd better go and have a look-see. You don't want any trouble while the circus is on. Want to come along for the ride, Nighty? Be good experience for you. Go on, Nighty. You're always saying how you're sick and tired of being earthbound. Mivia to caravan leader. Mivia to caravan leader. Over. What's the matter with the old fool? Turn up the volume. He's as deaf as a spitzera. Mivia to caravan leader. Mivia to caravan leader. For the last time, me view to caravan leader. Are you receiving me? Over. Caravan leader to Mivia. Caravan leader to Mivia. I am receiving you loud and clear. Too loud, in fact. I may have lived many, many light years, but I am not deaf. Over. Silly old goat. <laughs> After all, he is our space employer. Mivia to caravan leader. Zodiac is about to take off. Hold 
Onto your seat, 90. The old fool doesn't mess things up his end. I think you underestimate caravan leader, my dear. Not long now. Not long. And my people who have wandered through space for light years upon light years will have a permanent camp. Earth, the fairest planet of them all. Uh-oh, thruster pack's running out. Better get down to the stores and get another. I gotta finish this job. <laughs> Professor Matic, please. This is utterly ridiculous. I'm trying to fix Robert here. But it's extremely hard if you persist in refusing to allow me to get my own tools out of my own workshop. Here, your tools. This is utterly ridiculous. <coughs> oh, what a space crazy man. Hello, Ross. Fixed it? No. Thruster pack's gone. I'm just off to the stores to get another. Uh, what's the matter with Robert? Swallowed too much sword. He's blown his top. That's what Colonel Zodiac will do if I don't get that trapeze fixed. There you are. A nomadian caravan. A whole line of them. But that one will be the leaders unless I'm much mistaken. I'll go across and have a word with them. You'd better stay here. He's just gone across to the leader's caravan now. Good. Well, he knows the regulations. I don't think the Nomadians will give us any trouble. We will give you no trouble, Colonel Zodiac. Of course not. But you know the regulations. You must move on in the morning. I know, Colonel Zodiac. <sighs> Always we must move on the next morning. This one night will be enough for us. More than enough. Commander Zero, Luke, Ken is falling. His thruster pack must have failed. <laughs> Typical of Steve, he always insists on a safety net. Yes, for everyone except himself. Let's go over and see how Ken is. You must get back to your own space caravan in case they suspect. I'll call up caravan leader, the old fool. Okay. He's only suffering from severe atmospheric shock. What happened? His thruster pack seemed to give out on him. Here it is. A terrible mess, I'm afraid. I, uh, I hope your friend will be all right. A most unfortunate accident. I'm not so sure that it was an accident. <laughs> When the circus performance is underway and I get the signal from our secret agent, we move in. At last, the Nomadians will have a permanent sight of their own. Is this all understood, my people? 
We understand, O oh great caravan leader, we the, the nomadian gypsies, who have wandered in space for many light years, follow you, great caravan leader, to the end of space. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great uh, pleasure, no, um, a great uh, privilege. How are you feeling, Commander? Terrible. I'm so nervous. I'd rather intercept 30 space missiles than go through this. Yeah, you'll be okay once you get out there in the ring. By the way, did you get someone to go up and check my trapeze? Lieutenant Knighty's up there now. This is it. We'd better get down there. Lieutenant Knighty will be back to take over the control room in a minute. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Try and get yourself out of this one. First century. Jock Campbell, the human cannonball. To caravan leader, all clear to move in. Me via to caravan leader, all clear to move in. What's the matter, Commander? It won't light. Oh, this is terrible. It, it could only happen to me. It's no good, Commander. I'll have to strip her down. Maybe I can get her working for later on in the show. Well, go on to Zodiac's Act. Do your best, Jock. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show, the fabulous, fantastic flyer, Steve Zodiac, who will perform his sensational trapeze act without a safety net, and without his thruster pack. If he falls, it will mean certain death.
magnificent, amazing, <gasps> wonderful. I can hardly believe my old eyes. No time for speeches. Come on. Now, Zuni, you really behaved very badly, you know. Just because you played one wrong note. What's that? Help! What a wonderful grandstand view. Let's get to work. No time to lose. I love the circus. <laughs> it's in my blood. What a magnificent sight. Yes, isn't it? And we want it to stay that way. Get a thruster back. No, Venus. They're all useless. Sabotaged. It worked! Goodness Zero fired you, Jock. I hope you don't mean that literally. <laughs> the day they fire you, Jock, they can fire me, too. <laughs> Thanks, Colonel. Thank you, Jock. Professor! <laughs> Sorry, Venus, I'm, uh, I'm afraid it percolated a bit too violently. Professor? Professor, what have you been up to in the workshop? The workshop? What do you mean? You've been daydreaming, Venus. We've been around here all the time. What was it all about? There was a circus. And you were flying through the air, Steve. Well, it almost happened for real in the kitchen. That coffee machine of Maddox almost had us in orbit. Now, you settle down, and I'll tell you the real story of the flying Zodiacs. I wish I was a spaceman fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, compass of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes. We'd take the path to Jupiter, and maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way, and land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust, we'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball, a fireball Cause you would be my Venus of the stars 